As some businesses are allowed to reopen, others are still waiting on the green light. And they say time is now running out. KITV4's Eddie Dowd is live with why people in one industry feel left out. Eddie? That's right, Paul and Diane. We're talking about dance and yoga studios. Now, there has been some dates thrown around by county and city officials, but um, no actual uh, date on when they can actually reopen for sure. But uh, some business owners I talked to today say uh, they're not sure they will be able to reopen if they have to wait any much longer. Now, we spoke to one business owner named Alan Lau, who owns 24-7 Dance Force in Kaneohe. He says he plans to reopen when gyms get the okay, but uh, because he hasn't heard anything specific regarding businesses from officials, um, that's just his plan. In a Zoom town hall on Facebook, Honolulu City Councilwoman Kimberly Pine led a discussion for people in the industry. One concern was how they would be able to lead classes with masks on. Others didn't know if they can afford to reopen. We're very fragile at this point. A no income coming in, we, there's no way to recoup the events that were um, scheduled have all been canceled. We don't know our annual income, our annual earned income is going to be so low. And I, I know that everybody is struggling with that. And Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell's office told me today uh, these businesses fall under the the indoor sports athletic facilities category which also includes gyms now as for when uh, they might be able to reopen june 19th is the um date that they're going to request that the governor approves that they'll be allowed to welcome back customers but for now that's still tentative um and not a guarantee reporting in kakaako eddie dowd kitv4 island news